Hello, I'm Max Summer here with my partners Connor Drake and Patrick Delahan, and we're here live in Cleveland after Game 4 of the NBA Finals, the Warriors completing the sweep to win their third NBA title in four years. They won a 108 to 85, blowing out the Cavs. Guys, what did you see out there tonight? I mean, they completely murdered them. 108 to 85 away, and they just got the job done. Everybody except, uh, expected them to sweep, but they completely demolished them, and they got the job done, and everybody played well. LeBron only with 23 points. Nobody else could really help him, and he didn't have the best game either, so. Well, I think what we saw tonight was just a showing of how the Warriors are a better team than the Cavs. They're a more well-rounded team. I mean, Steph Curry isn't the only super superstar on that team with Kevin Durant and a, sort of a star, sort of stars in Draymond Green and Klay Thompson. And what we really saw was that LeBron needs more help. Yeah, and on the subject of LeBron, you've got to be disappointed if you're him. You've gone against the same team four straight years. You're only able to win one of those times. You guys think... Uh, with him being a free agent, will we see him in a Cleveland uniform next year, or is he going to leave for somewhere else? Is he going to Philly, or is he going to Houston, Los Angeles? Is he leaving, or is he staying? I think he's definitely going somewhere different. I mean, he's been with the Cavs for a few years. He's took them to the finals and won one of them, and I think he's ready to move on and try something different and hopefully bring that team to victory. He's definitely going to leave. I do not think that we're going to be seeing him in the Cleveland Cavaliers uniform next year. There were supposedly leaks of uh, forms that LeBron James was enrolling his children, Bryce and Bronny, and not his two-year-old daughter. She's not old enough, but she uh, the, he enrolled them in L.A. school. So that was false. It was? Yes. Oh. Whoops. But, um... I think that he could end up being a Laker, he could end up being a Rocket. I don't think that he's going to stay in the Eastern Conference. I think that he wants a little bit more of a challenge. I mean, the guy has breezed to the NBA Finals the past eight years. So I mean, he wants a challenge. Yeah, and what did you guys see from him in this series, going there with only one other All-Star in Kevin Love as opposed to years past where he's had two of those guys on the team with the heat where he had Bosch and Wade and in past years with the Cavaliers where he not only had Love but he also had Kyrie. Uh, what did you see from him this series maybe having to step up a little more? I personally was just a little bit disappointed uh, especially on the defense end where he just seemed afraid to guard Kevin Durant and wasn't really giving much effort on that instead of saving all of his energy for offense. Yeah I mean it's tough for one superstar to carry the whole team and that's what nobody can do especially LeBron and he's just so talented but no nobody else could really do anything and even Kevin Love I mean he he tried his best but the both of them couldn't do anything and yeah well I mean I feel like the only the only reason they lost this finals was like well as I've said before that he didn't have enough help and with the help of Kyrie in 2016, it really, 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 really helped them to win that finals and come back from a 3-1 deficit because LeBron wasn't doing it on himself. He had another superstar point guard in Kyrie Irving to help him out win that championship, and Kyrie played phenomenal in that series, but he just didn't have anybody to play that well this year. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with that. And uh, so what do you think Steph Curry is feeling? Oh, we got to wrap it up? Yeah. All right, so that's all the time we have. We'll send you back to the studio. I'm Max Summer here with Connor Drake and Patrick Dallahan, live in Cleveland, Warriors winning the NBA Finals in Game 4.